Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary, where I do the research to try to teach you a little something about what you're drinking. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the Old Pulteney 18 year old. Now this is a newer whiskey to the US market, it's been in the European markets for about a year, but because it's just making its way around the country, I wanted to give you guys my thoughts. So let's talk about the Old Pulteney 18. The Pulteney Distillery is in a town called Wick in northern Scotland, and they refer to themselves as the Maritime Malt because they are right on the edge of the ocean. And obviously you're going to get a lot of that brininess and maritime notes that you get both in the flavor and the nose. So because of that, they've taken on the moniker. Makes sense. So when you're considering an 18-year-old whiskey, now, I'm not sure how many of you guys have actually ever had that old of an expression. 18 is right in that area where you've now committed to spending a good amount of money on a whiskey, but maybe not insane, maybe not just a beginner, maybe you're looking to move up. So when you're thinking about an 18-year-old whiskey, you want to think about a couple of things. Obviously, the mash bill matters. However, so does the oak and where it's aged. Now, with this particular whiskey, what they're doing is instead of putting in a rickhouse where they're going to go up like nine different levels, they have this area within the distillery called dunnage. And what dunnage means is it's basically an area where the, the floor might be actual earth. Uh, the walls, in this case, are made of stone. It's very musty. It's, it's, it's damp. It's humid. Um, I was recently speaking actually to the master distiller here. His name's Malcolm. Um, and he was saying that sometimes there's actually... Uh, moss <laughs> kind of growing on the on the on the barrels themselves and um, just thought that that added some character so uh, they have these three levels of dunnage and that's where most of this is aged so let's go into the nosing and tasting and kind of talk about what brininess actually means when you're when you're nosing whiskey so uh, recently I did a live stream with this guy Nick Taylor and he put this perfectly when you know something like this, or maybe uh, some other Isla, or something that you would typically say, oh wow, that smells like the ocean, or it smells like the sea, it smells salty. One thing to consider is that you might not actually be smelling salt. What you're smelling is more just maritime notes. Things like, you know, the, the dune grass, things like the sand, and you know, salt water, of course. Um, you know, any smells that might be coming off the ocean, all kind of in a pleasant way. But it's not necessarily salt. Go take some table salt off your, off your table, and smell it. You're not going to smell anything unless you get some up your nose. <laughs> so something to consider is, uh, especially when you're doing your own nosing and tasting notes. Um, all right, so when you smell this, you are obviously getting some of those maritime notes, so a little salty. <laughs> but some of the things that you're getting as well are chocolate and vanilla, specifically kind of like a vanilla ice cream to me. Um, there's a little bit of like a musty apple, almost as if you had just gone and picked some apples off a tree. They're not quite cleaned yet. They've just got this, this like earthiness or, or outdoors to it. Um, very cool nose on this actually. I like it a lot. All right. Uh, it was very sweet almost. So let's go ahead and have a taste. Cheers. Now the taste of this is dramatically different than the nose, at least for the most part. There's one little bit that's kind of a similarity and I would call it almost like a honeyed Honeyed vanilla, you know, it's, it's that sweetness I mentioned on the nose, but brought forth more with the vanilla. And you're getting that because this is uh, aged in first fill ex bourbon, I'm oh, sorry, yeah, first fill ex bourbon bath, <laughs> first fill ex bourbon barrels. And then it's finished in first fill Spanish Oloroso sherry barrels. So you're getting a lot of different, different stuff going on there when you mix that with the maritime. All right, so as far as the taste goes, you get that honeyed vanilla. You've got a little bit of kind of like a like a baking spice. Not not so much like I guess you'd call it nutmeg in this case. At least I am. It'll mix with some dried fruits. Think along the lines of raisins or maybe even like dried figs somewhere in there. Um, some of the chocolate comes through on the taste as well. And once again, you're getting a little bit of brininess to it, a little bit of, of the maritime. They really do. Their moniker does make sense. When you drink this or smell this, you do think of the ocean. So let's talk about price point and if this is worth it. So this is roughly $120. Um, I've seen it, or you can see it as high up as $140 and probably some variants in, in the middle there. $120 for an 18-year-old whiskey is normal, if not slightly above normal. 
However, Old Pulteney is a good brand. And so there's not really a risk when you're going to consider spending $120. That being said, $120 might be a lot. So I'm going to give you guys some advice. In this case, I think that you should get this, but before you buy this, I want you to go out and I want you to find the Old Pulteney 15. That's $90. And at that price point, a total steal. The 15 is amazing. Probably one of the better whiskeys I've tried this year. This one is also fantastic. My only hesitance is the 120. Kind of puts it right on that line for me. If you like the 15, I will say the 15 tastes very different than the 18, but the parts that make the 15 good make the 18 also very, very good. Um, so I guess it's it's hard to say. Like it's almost a, if you see this in a in a bar, give this a shot. Try it for sure. No matter what they're charging, try this, and I think that you'll probably love it. But at 120, you start to get some competition. So keep that in mind. Um, solid, try it for me. If not, I'll buy it if you like the 15. So thank you for joining me here on the Whiskey Dictionary, and I hope you have a great rest of your night. Cheers.